Is there a connection, a relationship between the Arab-Israeli conflict and the jihad that attacked the United States and is attacking uh, European uh, Judeo-Christian cities around the world? Uh, Scott, you, you noticed my button, 9-11. And uh, why I wear that, it's a conversation starter. And what happens, people see it, they remark on it, and what I tell them is that 9-11 was a tectonic shift in America because our Christian friends and neighbors finally understood what it was to be Jewish and connected to Israel. Now there's a twofold part to this. And when I spoke for the Israeli consulate, I would always say, you have to thank your Christian neighbors for their support of Israel, because there's a heck of a lot more of them than there are of us. And the other piece in the, in the Jewish world is after 9-11, the Jewish community woke up as well. And you saw all these wonderful organizations growing up to train leadership on campus. You have Hasbro Fellowships, David Project, Camera was before, but really got a boost for that. And there's all these different organizations that grew up after 9-11. I put that 9-11 as the mark for the Jewish community to wake up and to support leadership development on campus. But is Islamist terror in the West, Western Europe, North America, even Argentina, is Islamist terrorism outside of Israel distinct somehow and separate from the, the, the Palestinian terrorism in Israel? Um, when we talk about uh, Islamic terrorism around the world, I remember one of the speakers that I brought, I had the honor of bringing through Philadelphia was Ronan Berkman, who wrote the book a few years back on the 30-year war of Iran. Iran is behind all this world terrorism, and um, it's something that we're dealing with, and I think American security is dealing with it, Israeli security is dealing with it. It is a direct threat, part of the threat of Iran.